Webflow is absolutely great, but let's face it, there's a few features in Webflow that aren't necessarily native yet that other people have created. And in this video, we're gonna go over five amazing integrations that you can add directly into Webflow to take your project to the next level. Let's get into it. So the first integration we're going to talk about here is tryformly.com. Now this is a brand new product. It was just featured on Product Hunt. So this is brand, brand new into the design Webflow world. And what this product essentially does is it creates a multi-step form directly in Webflow with Webflow native components like with div and with custom div attributes. Now, if you remember a couple of videos ago, I talked about type form and how great it was to give users that experience in a form where they have multiple steps and that enables you to have a better overall UX experience with forms on your website. But but again, you needed to try something like Typeform to do that. And in this case, it's similar. You have to add in a separate product, but it's natively using Webflow components like divs and then advanced div attributes, things like that. So this is an example of what it looks like. So I'm just gonna add in a random name here, a random company. I'm gonna say I'm doing good as well. So as you can see here, there's a few different steps for this form and then we can just enter and it'll send it away. And if you noticed, it was actually stylized to look similar to the type form so that people are actually quite familiar already with the type form type of UX. And this is a little bit about how Triformly actually works. You also get to see some of the different attributes that you can add to your form, like this progress bar here so that your user knows how far they are into the form and how close they are to completing it so that they don't get form fatigue and they move on to the next thing or they forget about it. This is fantastic for forms. If you have a form on your website for new clients and it has multiple steps and it's quite a long form, this might be a better use case for you so that your users are actually entertained while they're doing their form. Let's get on to the next one. The next one here is similarly a form type of use case, but it's different. So videoask.com is actually by type form, which is a funny coincidence. But what video ask essentially does is it gives you a video format chat box in the bottom right hand corner of your website. If we take a look at this product here, which we're going to talk about in a little bit, we see that they essentially have this video chat feature here. And if we click it, it then takes us into these multi-step questions that we can then answer. And then we'll get information based on whatever we select. So this is essentially what Video Ask does. And there's a few use cases that I'd like to talk about because I think they're great for designers. And here we have a few of them. So we've got lead generation, testimonial, sales, things like that. But what I think is great for designers is feedback. Now, feedback is always important as designers, as UX designers, especially if you're doing a lot of research. And in this case, you can get that type of research by asking your user in a more friendly manner. You're not sending them a billion emails. You're not chatting with them over WhatsApp. You're not doing any of that sort of annoying, slow type of conversation. You are allowing them to have a conversation with you through this pre-recorded video feedback. Next up is going to be the F and Suite attributes. Now I've talked a lot about F and Suite before and especially the attributes function that they have, but I want to talk specifically about the CMS filter. Now CMS filter, if we scroll all the way down, we see that they have given us an example depending on filtering by different countries and we can see the different cities within the countries. This is fantastic. But what I think is amazing is if you imagine the different use cases that you could actually use this for. So for example, if you're creating a marketplace, some sort of job form, anything that allows you to create a huge filter, this is super, super valuable. Another use case that is super important for designers and Webflow developers and people that have a lot of clients is if you're ever gonna have a client in the future that wants to have a big e-commerce and they wanna be able to filter a ton of different products, maybe imagine like a thousand different products products like a big e-commerce, this is going to be extremely useful for you. If you are building in Webflow, which that would be surprising, but if you are building in Webflow and e-commerce that big, then I do recommend that you use something like F and Suite for your CMS filter. You also have CMS sort. So if I just scroll all the way down, you can see we can sort by name, by date, things like that. And I'll give you a quick example. And then we also have different components. So here we have a CMS slider. Now CMS sliders are notoriously not available in Webflow natively, which is kind of weird, but CMS sliders essentially allow you to pull data from your CMS collection and display it directly as a slider just like this. So you can have interchangeable information, but it still has that slider format. Next up, we briefly went over Weglot, but I want to talk a little bit more about it. So Weglot is essentially, if you see on the left hand corner here, it is a function to change your website into different languages. So if I click on the Spanish here, we see that the entire website is now changed language into Spanish. So we can see that everything is translated, even the H1s, the H3s, all the body paragraphs, everything has been translated 
translated to Spanish and there's a few different languages here. But the benefit of having this on your website is that you can essentially enable many different regions of the world to access your website. If you're trying to target countries that don't speak English, like for example, the Chinese market or the Spanish market where it's two thirds of the world, then this is a great, great way to essentially do that without any code. So if you guys are looking for something like this, where you're able to translate your website into many different languages, then Weglot has commonly been the voice in that market. Next up and lastly, but definitely not least is going to be JetBoost. Now, one of the main products that I really enjoy about JetBoost is the CMS item favoriting. So if you're ever creating a e-commerce or anything like that, where you want to save something for later, maybe bookmark it, maybe creating a reading list for your clients or something like that, having a similar feature where you can like and favorite and store items. This is incredibly valuable if you have a client that demands this feature to be made. That is essentially how you're going to do it. You can also create a forum like reaction here where you have many different people reacting to something. Then you also have, like I talked about, the store wish list. So if I want to add this to my save to wish list, we'll see that my wish list now has three different items. If I remove it, then it has two. So it automatically allows you to create these very complex e-commerce style features without any code, just simply in Webflow, you add in a little snippet of code. Okay, not without any code, low code, but it allows you to add in these dramatic differences in your website with a very small amount of code. Then we also have advanced pagination, which is another reason why JetBoost is so great in this case. If we go here and scroll all the way down to the examples, we'll see that there's three different types of paginations that they allow you to add. So we see that we have a very simple next and previous. That is fantastic. That allows you to add a ton of different functionality already from the get go. Then we have show more. So it infinitely adds more and more and more as you click show more. And this is a similar feature that is available in FN Suite. Actually, if you check out the all solutions, I'm just going to look up here, CMS load and we'll see that we get the actual function here and it's pretty similar. All you have to do is click load more. So you do have multiple options if you want to add that functionality to your site. These are very, very simple and easy to add functionalities. And then we've got infinite scroll. So infinite scroll is exactly what it says. It allows you to scroll everything within a smaller box contained within your website. Instead of scrolling the entirety of the page, it's contained to almost like an overflow none smaller container. So if you guys did enjoy this video and you found any of the tabs that I shared useful, then please do let me know down below which one because I can then make more videos about it. I can share it to more people. So if you guys did enjoy this video, then I do recommend that you like, subscribe, do all of those things, leave a comment as well. And as always, everything that I talked about is going to be in the description so you guys can check it out for free. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.